Hey guys, it's Zoe. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, Kittizen, and here on YouTube. And today I have a uh, Thread Up Designer box. First one I have ordered in a, a long time, since the early January, I, I think. Um, but look how it came to me. Uh, this is split here. But check this out. Oh my god. So, I'm like really nervous they don't have a traditional tape across this way or this way um, looks like there's more than one piece of tape on here so I have no idea what why my lights going in and out like that what's gonna be in this box so definitely I'm going to take this one because whoever put this box together, there's no signs of tape on the tab or here or here or here. So, um, definitely going to tape this one in case I need to um, reach out to them. Because this is just, um, this is not acceptable. It's just not. It's not an acceptable way to package a designer box that we spend so much money on. Because not everybody in this world is honest. I mean, you know, I know my FedEx lady is honest, but what about everyone else that touches it in between? So, um, hopefully it's all here. That's the most I can ask for. Um, this is what it looks like. So, it's not even covered with tissue. Oh, goodness. There's the bottom of my hair. There goes about 10 strands of hair. Oh, goodness. All right. This was also ordered on the 25th of April from February and it came from Mechanicsburg Pennsylvania yeah came from Mechanicsburg it's gonna pull my hair out if I don't stop oh, I don't know what just fell behind my desk not cool all right so Start with the clothes. This did weigh also weigh like uh, seven pounds, and I am batch videoing this week, so you will see me. Or today I'm batch videoing, so you will see me in the same look on and off throughout the week. Okay, this is a Saint John. I do like Saint John. I have sold it. It does sell for me, and it's a size large, so it may not make it to my Poshmark. Um, this is this nice sweater. feels like cashmere. does have some peeling. I don't see any stain, but you'd see it better in the camera. It has a little bit of peeling, but I can get that off. I'm not worried about that. Let's see what it is. What is the material? It is 100% cashmere, it says. Oh, 100% cashmere back. Or the front. The front is cashmere, the back is 70% wool. And 30% cashmere. That's a nice, nice mix. But it is a size large, great sweater. It even has the um, metal tag on the back there. Uh, I don't know if that is a mark. No, that was a shadow. So nice sweater. Um, I'll look it over, make sure that there's no holes or tears but it does have quite a bit of peeling 
What is up with this light? Sorry, it keeps like going in and out. All right, this feels like a nice dress. Victoria Beckham, US size eight. I don't know, that is weird. My light's going in and out like that. Um, beautiful sheath dress. Look at there. I'm not seeing anything. You see any stains in the camera? It almost feels like that scuba material. Um, it's got the open exposed zip in the back. Just a very nice dress. The zipper works. US size eight. That is a really pretty dress. Okay, and you know, you can wear it this time of year. Not bad. And that is all in the clothes. We have shoes, and then we have, I hate this brand. Can you guess? And it's messed up, and I don't think I can uh, fix it because it looks like it's underneath the um, leather. We have a Furla uh, crossbody. It is adjustable. The straps are in excellent condition. We have a receipt for $50. On March 12th, 2018. For something. Oh. Something. Anyway. That's in good condition. Um, actually, the inside is in excellent, excellent condition. With a mirror has all these places for cards um but this is what i mean by uh, probably not gonna be able to get that rubbing off i'm guessing that is from a transfer but it's that uh Sofiano leather and you know when it gets in there you can't get it out but it's a cute little crossbody. I will list it um, as is because I know that's not going to come off unless anybody has a trick. Let me just do something here. Stupid. Let's see if that stays better. Sorry about that. All right, we got some funky tennis shoes. Please let them be good. Isabel Marant. We have Isabel Barant, Marant glitter shoes. Of course, I'm going to have to make sure that these are authentic. Ooh, size 37. I could probably wear these, but I don't wear stuff like this. Um, they look authentic from what I'm, I can see. Um, but I will double check. Size 7. Isabel Marant. I will put comps up on the screen. I usually do not offer my designer boxes for sale. But every now and then someone will email me and want something. And I may discount it. But they will not be discounted 50%. Not on the designer boxes. Um, but yeah. Those are cute. And they're in pretty good condition. Just clean the bottoms up and brush the suede. I don't see any stains. All the glitter is there. No tears. They say Isabel Marant on the back. Nice. I like those shoes. Oh my gosh, really, we get a tie. Oh, what's a Valentino tie? And it's got the little thing. Uh, Valentino 
definitely needs to be um, steamed. It's munched a little bit. 100% silk and made in Italy. I have not sold a tie one. So, uh, but this is a nice tie. It's a nice pattern. And it's Valentino. So, I don't know. Do you see any stains? I see a little bit under here. Um, I could try to spot clean that. Or not. Um, anyway, Valentino tie. And there is the pattern right there. Okay. I see some really pretty boots in there. I'm hoping they're my size, but doubtful. All right. We have a pair of very cute Jimmy Choo sling back heels. And great condition and these are authentic I have had my share of unauthentic ones from thread up but these are authentic I can tell by looking at it and look see that silver 40 on there that means somebody got them from the thrift store sent them to thread up to sell they didn't sell they didn't want them returned so they end up in one of our designer boxes. So she probably originally paid probably five bucks for these. These are in great condition and a perfect color for the summer. And they are size 38 and a half. Gosh, I wish I still wore heels. I would have a closet from you know where. Beautiful, beautiful pair of shoes. All right. Or the ones that I want maybe not they have issues already <sighs> Alexander Wang look at these boots look at the cutout of these boots overall they look pretty good Size 39. But wouldn't you know it? And this is not leather. The heels are not leather. But those are cool. Look at the design on those. They're in great condition otherwise. At least this one is. Let's look at the other one. Well, this heel seems to be pretty good. And this one looks good. Uh oh, no. This one's got a toe scuff. But I can probably fix that. See that toe scuff? I can fix that. I'm not worried about that. But that heel, oh my god. Well, I wish I had socks on. I'm going to try them on. Without socks. Because, you know, designer shoes don't ever run true to size. At least they don't for me. Yeah, see... In boots, I wear a size eight. Um, these are a 39 and they fit me. I mean, like they literally, don't, don't look at my pajamas because I have pajamas on today. Oh, wow. Hmm. Depending on how much these are worth, I may have my son wrap the heels in leather if I decide to keep them, not for sale. Um, because these fit me and I wear a size 8 in boots and it says size 39 these are awesome very unique boots but I will put on a comps on the price of 
prices of comps on the screen. Um, yeah, lovely. Get my slippers back on. This was a good box. I mean, overall, this is a good box. I like it. I have no complaints. Um, I've had much, much worse, and I've had better. Um, but in my opinion, this is a great box. I love these boots. Alexander Wang. Very unique. Very nice. Um, some issues, but fixable issues. I just hate that. Oh, my God. I hate that. Because it's not leather. If it was leather, it would be easy. Okay. Valentino tie to the Furla crossbody that has, looks like jeans or black pants transfer, but it is absolutely beautiful on the inside, like new. Um, I'll have to see about that. That's three. Victoria Beckham. Don't know her. I don't have any of her items, so I gotta look her up. This dress is beautiful. I didn't see any issues with that. That makes four. Really cute Jimmy Choo orange sandals for summer. That makes five. Size eight and a half. Love these Isabel Marat sneakers. Size seven. They just need a little bit of cleanup on the bottoms. Um, even the insides are not that dirty. Just a little bit, but I always clean the insides. Anyway, love these. So that makes six. And then this beautiful St. John cashmere slash wool cashmere sweater, size large. That just needs to be depilled because I haven't found any holes. It doesn't mean when I go to photographing, I'm not going to find holes. And depilling it with the material is going to be a nightmare. I might have to do it by hand. And if I have to do it by hand, it's probably going to be worth me keeping. All right, so there's no stains. And I'm not seeing any holes anywhere. So... Yeah, awesome box. I'm glad I finally got one. I haven't had a designer since November of last year. See, so it pays not to hog them all. I think that, I think, I really honestly do think that holds true. If you don't hog them all all the time and order, you know, a, a ton of them when they come open, I think your chances are better of getting a decent one because you know they do pay attention. They know what we buy. They probably say, oh man, this girl, she orders all the time and uh, just give her whatever. Give her this. Go take it out of that pile or whatever. I'm, I can see them doing it. I really can because when I order, was ordering a lot, I was getting hit and miss boxes pretty bad. I mean, I've got five or six boxes in there full of things that are unsellable or need serious mending um, and, and it was when I was ordering a lot of stuff that stuff will probably never go up for sale because I'm not gonna learn how to sew for that um, so I'm just going to every now and then order one and hope I get a good one instead of trying to get as, as many as I can because I really think it's detrimental to um, my business and what, what I get. Just like the fun box I just got. I haven't ordered a fun box in a long time. And I got one from Pennsylvania. Which was a shocker because I rarely ever get one from Pennsylvania. But I am ex excited about this box. I think it's going to do well. And um, if there's anything that you're interested in in this box, shoot me an email. Like I said, I don't do 50% off of my designer boxes, but I will give you a discount um, 
off of what I'm going to list it for. So just shoot me an email and we'll talk about it. And I guess I will see you again later. Billy out.